we popped into a Target. I happened to come up on one of these. It's a new Civil War war machine and the Mark 27 Disco Armor Iron Man. Let's check this out. Check out this Mark 27 Disco Armor. It's basically just a repaint of an old war machine that we have. Uh, I think it did a pretty decent job on it. Except for back here. That paint doesn't look that good, but for the rest of the toy, I really like the color. It stands out from my shelf. And it's one more Iron Man that we got from uh, Iron Man 3, definitely the worst Iron Man movie in the bunch. For a comparison, here he is with um, the War Machine, so you can see he's exactly the same. Just repainted. For a repaint, it's pretty good. Here's the back of him. And also the same as um, this one here, the Iron Patriot. So, just more repaints, but I actually think the disco armor is pretty cool. Alright, let's get a look at this war machine. This right here. This is what you call Marvel Legends perfection. Except for the gun doesn't stand there very well. <clears throat> but other than that, Marvel Legends perfection. This matted finish, amazing. The detail on it, amazing. I like how they did the eyes with the red and the white in there. It's kind of like a flat metallic gray. Did a really good job. These guns come off and they open, and then they also unplug in his arms. So that's a pretty cool touch. Back of them. Here's his um, baton. Not bad. At least they give it a little love with the red paint. And then this one is the one that comes out of his back. Nice that they did that too. He does come with a second set of hands, a closed fist hands. But then he can't hold anything. And I really don't ever like the closed fist hands. It's definitely not my favorite. But the toy itself is really good. I thought they did a great job on this. Uh, let's do a comparison of some of the other ones. Here's my um, other war machine here. I actually thought this one was just as good. But the uh, Civil War one is nice. Like, I mean, this, this toy here is pretty much perfect too. So normally I'd say we didn't need another war machine, but since it's a totally different suit, I'm glad that they did, even though I'm really happy with this one also. This is side by side comparison. So you can see the old one is just as good as the new one. Two great war machines. And then here he is, the Iron Man. I mean, that Iron Man was really nice also. And then a couple of my older war machines. 
to this one. I mean, I actually thought this was a good toy when it first came out, but now it's just... Don't really even need that in my collection. Here's a Marvel Select one. I normally only get the big characters in Marvel Select, but I thought he was pretty cool at the, at the time. So I went ahead and picked him up. Then here's the other old one, which I also thought was a pretty decent toy, but not compared to these two other ones. So, there they all together. Did a great job on this. I'll show you the rest of my Iron Man collection. Okay, here they are with the rest of my War Machine and Iron Man collection. Highly recommend this two pack. I know a lot of people don't want to get it because they don't really dig the disco armor Iron Man. But I think he's pretty awesome. Like he stands out in the collection. You can see him from a mile away. So that's why I thought he was pretty cool. Alright man, thanks for watching.